everyone, this is Edouan and today we are back in the studio for a new video. So today I'm going to show you how to make a track that is all over TikTok right now. Roses by Saint John in Manbeck Remix. And right before we start, I want to thank today's sponsor, Splice. If you don't know what Splice is, I don't know where you are living, <laughs> it's a music service get millions of samples, effects, loops and plugins with a monthly subscription. So you can find the perfect samples using a set of filters. There are four different plans starting at $7.99 a month. Once you find a sample, you just have to drag it and drop it onto your dough. You can purchase plugins using their rent to buy service, which is a feature that allows you to pay for a plugin every month until the full plugin is paid. So make sure to check out Splice at the link in the description below as it helps support my channel and keep making noise videos. Right before we start, let's do a little prayer to a fellow studio God. A fellow studio God, please don't crash this time. I want to remake a nice track for the producers out there. So the first step is to get the same BPM as the remix, 122. Next up, let's fit the tempo of the original rap beat using fit to tempo, tempo user. Next up, let's pitch it up, let's chimpmuck it up. Next up, let's remove the low end from this in order to get only like the vocals and the high instruments. To make it pump a little bit more, let me use some sidechain on the vocals. Just a very light sidechain. Let's make the beat. So let's start with the bass. For the bass, I'm going to use serum. Let's use another wavetable here. Add a sub oscillator. Let's add a low pass filter and change the envelope a little bit. Link the envelope to our filter. Let's add a second waveform here. Seven semitones higher. Let's add some dimension to this, some hyper. Basically it's a stereo widener. Distortion. Compression. Let's add a filter. Let's add some sidechain to the bass. Some more compression and distortion. Let's remove the very high end. Now 
nice. Now let's get a nice kick drum. Future house kicks. A fat, punchy, short kick. This one is nice. Nice. Let's remove the very high end from this kick. Let's compress our bass a little bit more with a limiter. Next up, let's add some nice claps. Future house claps. Let's route this to a bus. Compress a little bit using OTT. Add a little bit of reverb to it. Stack some layers on the claps, clap juicers. And let's increase a little bit of the transients of our claps. Some noise crashes. So here is the final result. So that's it for today guys, the Fruity Loops project is available at the link in the description below. Again a big thanks to Splice for sponsoring this video. The Fruity Loops project is available at the link in the description below. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you are not part of the producer family yet. Let me know which artist you guys want me to do in the next tutorial. Thank you all for watching, have fun producing. And of course, and of course, and of course, don't forget to pray to a fellow studio God.